interview questions for an experienced Salesforce developer. So let's move on to the first question. The first question that says that we have a master detail relationship between two objects and using that we have built a roll up summary field in those two objects. So whenever roll up summary field is recalculated does trigger executes on the same object. So over here right now what I have is I have a parent object and a child object and there is a master detail relationship in both of them. Okay, and as there is a master detail relationship, what I've done is I have built a roll up summary field in between them. So if you can see sum and mean and all these things are nothing but a master uh, roll up summary fields between this child and parent. So if I go to the parent and you can see I've created a roll up summary field with the count uh, child MD. Okay, roll up summary field with child MD as there's a master detail relationship. Now the question is that whenever I'm going to change the value of the child, it will get recalculated on the parent as well as it's a roll up summary field. So in that case, will the trigger execute so what i've done is i have written a trigger on parent okay i'm written a trigger on parent so i'm going to update on child and as i update on child it will get updated on parent but the question is will the trigger execute in case of roll up summary field so let's look into it so right now <clears throat> i have a child record and the parent record okay the child md and parent md test is the name as you can see i have opened the test in the next uh, tab so what i'm going to do is the age right now is 13 if I change it to 14 or something like that, let's see whether the trigger, this particular trigger will work or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and change it to 14. Let me clear the log before that. If there is any, no, okay, there is no log. Let's click on save. So I've updated child, okay, but the trigger is on parent. So let's see whether the trigger was executed or not. Okay, so as you can see, trigger did work. So if you are going to use a roll up summary field, please keep these things in mind that trigger will also work in that scenarios. People usually think that trigger won't work, but trigger do work as you can see right now. I think so it's an after update or I think so it's an after update or before update. I think so most probably if I remove before update. So it means that only once it should get executed and something like that. But I think so uh, that trigger does executes even if you're implementing the roll up summary field. So let's move on to the next question. It says that can we utilize a formula field inside the roll up summary fields? Now, this is a very famous question, very famous question. M multiple times this kind of questions are asked. So right now what I've done is within the child MD, what I've done is I have created a formula field. If you can see of type currency. Okay. I've used a formula field within the type of currency. Now the question is, can I create a roll up summary field on parent using that same field, which I'm calling it as check in MD. Okay, check in MD. So let's see whether this formula field is available to us. Roll up summary field. Let's click on next. And let's give something name. And let's click on next. And I'm going to select summarize objects as child MDs. Let's go to sum because I, I want a currency field. That's why it's a currency field. That's why let's check. So as you can see right now, I am able to see the even the formula field is visible to us within the roll up summary field. If I want, I can select this and I can use this formula fields even inside my roll up summary field. So that is something new that I did not know. Uh, even I did not know, but yeah, the I we are able to use the formula fields within the roll up summary fields as well if the type is correct. Okay, so this was the second question. Now let's move on to the next question. Now, before even moving to the next question, if you don't understand and don't even feel confident in integration terminology of Salesforce or don't have real world experience in the same. So don't worry. I have launched a comprehensive integration crash course where I'm doing integration with almost four system while teaching the basics to most complex terminologies like different types of the integration, how to process extremely complex JSON, sending messages from one number to another number, uh, pulling data from external system, posting data to external system and all that stuff. So it's quite useful course. So if you want to check it out, you can click the top mid link from the description. Let's move on to the next question. That is that can we call a flow from a workflow rules? Okay. Now many of the thing, many of the people might think that, okay, we can only do four things in workflow rules. So let's check it out. Actually, I checked it out accidentally while teaching someone. I accidentally checked it out. So let's go and like look into it. Okay. Continue in workflow rules. Let's call it as account on account. Let's launch it on account. Let's name something. Uh, criteria is that uh, clean status. 
equals not found insert selected save and next okay let's go to the add actions now the question is let's click over here first of all okay previously we were able to only do four things right create a task email alert field update outbound message but now we are also able to launch a flow right we are able to create a flow basically okay from the workflow rule itself we are able to create a flow on a particular conditions right so if the particular criteria is matched we can particularly call a flow or i think so it's basically just creating a new flow but yes there's one more action added to the workflow rules where you can launch a flow or you can create a flow from the workflow rule itself okay i think so it's not uh, launching a flow but instead i think so it's a creating a flow you can create a new flow let's create a new flow quickly start from scratch let's create a record trigger flow and select the account object condition is none first will updates and save test my new flow wf save it and let's activate it oh okay it's it's not connected to something else let's connect it to uh, update create records or update records update name account number equals to something okay let's save it and let's see whether it is getting a link to the workflow rule or not that's what i'm concerned about now okay let's refresh this i don't think so okay i think it's more of this creation of a new flow from the workflow rule itself you have an option to create a new flow but not link a new flow okay so you cannot call a new workflow flow from a workflow rule but instead you can create a new flow itself I, because i cannot see uh, let me click on done yeah i don't think so okay so basically you are just creating a new flow over here but you are not calling a new flow flow from the workflow rule itself so that's what i wanted to explain in this particular question series or interview series if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel